Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to issue 64 of Build Your Own R2-D2 from Diagostini. Uh, now, this is a big issue, uh, not much pages, but lots of pictures and lots of stuff to do, so I think this is probably going to be a fairly long episode, uh, which is a good thing, because there's been some very short episodes, so it all balances out. Uh, in this one, actually, more than half of the magazine is actually the build. Um, there's a little bit of the normal pretty much rubbish about stuff which I've glanced at but not really looked not really read any of it but uh, not very much at all and then we get into the actual build uh, now in this issue we're putting together the some of the electronics into the dome uh, we've done the panels on most of it up till now and uh, we're going to be using some of the bits that we've got gathering dust elsewhere uh, now one thing I do notice it tells you in this one um, to use the packing from issue 51 which i've thrown away because it was packing they don't actually say oh keep this you'll use it later uh, what they're actually using it for is as a stand for the assembly so it's not overly important but it would have been quite nice to have a little heads up i'll have a look back in the magazine and see if it does actually say keep this but i don't think it does uh, obviously i've been keeping the dome over the dome on the uh, the post and the leg that they give you previously so you know Thanks to you, Rossini. Uh, right, so on this one we're going to be fitting the hinged panel, <coughs> which is the last last panel on the dome. Uh, but this one doesn't actually fit to the, the metal dome, it fits to the interior, because this is the one where the lightsaber pops up through. Uh, now, we've got the panel itself and a part of the hinge. Now, I believe that in issue one or two we got a hinge, which is very similar to that one there it is let's pick it up out of there this is what we received in issue one or two and this is the one that we've received in this issue so i think they're obviously different but you know they've updated it for that so it's one of these we'll give you stuff a year or more ago but actually you're not going to be using it after all uh, so let's see what this says about how to do this hinge um, drop it this way round with the pin coming down this way okay so that needs to go in there and then long screw goes through the hinge from that side I'm assuming that's one of these screws that they've just given us here Let's get that open I haven't opened any of the pots from screws this issue Looks like they give you two long screws, so they're both the same. Probably in case you lose one. Uh, from this side, it says, which has turned it over and it's going from the other side, because, you know, we'll make it easy. So we'll get that through there and through the hinge piece eventually. God, it's going to be a very long episode if I can't do this bit. thought it was going to be long because we're putting all the electronics in. It's going to be twice as long if I can't get the screws in the holes. There we go. Let's get that through there. And tighten that up. Once I get it lined up on the other side as well. There we go, so that's the the dome. Do not over tighten it, make sure the hinge moves freely. Yep, it moves and it moves. It fits on the top of the head frame. Now, it goes next to this one with the little arrow on it. Just over there, in there like that. Uh, which screws do we use? Line up the mounting holes, fit two 2.5 by four mil screws going to be these big ones with a big head maybe they are uh, six mil so it's not them are they going to be just the normal ones then let's have a look these look like they could be uh, just measuring those that four mil they don't look meaty enough so the heads are different sizes let me put my pot over here. 
This is the, the downside, they don't tell you which screws to use. There's some in there that look like they might be them. Or it might be these ones. That's four mil, so let's see if it fits in the hole. Looking good so far. Sorry, I know you can't really see this because my hands are in the way and everything, but yeah, that's fitting in the hole. Lovely there. Uh, there, there you go. You can see that just about, yeah, if I get my fingers out of the way. So I'll grab two of them. I'll put them back out of the way. Yeah, it would be useful if they named their screws or something or in some way so obviously the sizes are standard and useful but when they give you the screws you know months and months ago instead of just giving you a pack if you're watching this dear Gostini, thanks but why don't you just tell give us the screws we're actually going to be using this week and say here's this week's screws maybe a couple of extras if you're feeling generous so the falcon build ended up with more than a hundred screws left over at the end I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure I didn't actually lose any so they're all bonus screws I don't think there are any more bonus screws that I lost but you never know so yeah you obviously waste a lot of money giving us screws that you don't, we don't need but why not give the ones we do need at the right time? Test that the flap opens and closes freely. Yep, it certainly opens and closes. Lovely. Make sure the flap fits flush into the shallow recess in the black plastic flame frame. I don't know, it sort of goes across the outside of it, so it doesn't really... I don't know. Okay, fitting the dome. Let's move that back out of the way again. Move all my screws to one side. I don't knock them all over the floor. Uh, right, well, we're going to be using this black spacer bits that we got a couple of issues ago. I didn't even open then, but I'm going to open now. And we'll be using the square. Separate the spacers from the screw. Keep all parts in step one, close to hand. So for that, uh, those screws, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six of them five of them and one four mil version right so what are these are these all the same let's have a look and see they all appear to be the same length so I'm assuming there is actually a shorter version of that which I've got previously let's check not that I can see in my little pot of Screwness, screw it, screwing goodness. What have we got in here? Looks like there might be one different one in there. Let's have a look and see. Tip those out. Sorry, I'm doing this where you can't see it. It's a lovely, great bit of uh, planning for me. Yeah, there's one different one in there. Obviously, gives you a bag of screws, except for one that's different to all the rest. Thanks. So let's move them back out the way again. There's the short one. Two. Two of them. Three, four, and five of them. Right. Move them back out the way again. And move that back out the way again. I've got a bigger bench, and I'm still using all of it for other stuff. Right. Then we are taking the microphone and aligning its lead with the hole in the frame. So we've got to delve into my pot of bits that we built previously and haven't actually used yet. I think we're going to be using most of these now. So I'm actually going to empty my pot of goodness. There we go. And move that to one side again. We've got cables in here that I don't think we're going to be using quite yet, so let's move them to one side again. There's some cables we're using for the testing and things like that, so uh, it looks a lot like it's that one that I'm going to be using. So let me again move the rest of it out of the way 
and I'm going to cut these off of the sprue. Uh, obviously these are all internal pieces so I don't need to worry about filing down for neatness and tidiness and everything else. Done that side, let's do the other side. Two, three, four, five. Ah, nearly escaped, didn't quite. Uh, there's five of them, right. Get things back out of the way. Get rid of that in the bin. Right, so we're moving this back out of the way, moving this back where I can see what I'm doing. Another cable that I'm going to be putting out of the way. Uh, this needs to go, where are we looking here? The, the little hole here, that cable goes through there, that sits on top there. This has got the microphone inside it. So. Feed the lead all the way through the centre of the framework, yep, see the microphone there against O3, which it says O3 on it, so I'll get it in the right place. Yay! Now, get the dome, which I have... Ah, here's one I've prepared earlier. One dome. Now, obviously, the microphone's going over and through that hole there. So, this we are lining up over there. Getting that through there and getting that panel to line up with the empty panel there. Fit the microphone through the circular mounting hole and bring the dome frame together, lining up the keyhole slot at the top and fitting the hinge flap into the opening. Now this keyhole flap obviously up here is where we're aiming. So I'm going to be getting those in there like that. And that actually makes that nicely flush on there and obviously if there's one different bit at the top there that you can see so let me just try and hold that there and see if that still opens let's push it from the inside yeah there we go lightsaber ejection mechanism working as advertised uh, right so I've lined those up then we're getting the top bit in place now. Tricky is going to be doing all this A on camera and B without breaking anything and C without knocking everything all over the place, which I've already managed to do. Oh, there it is. Right, so we've got five spacers, one short screw, five long screws. This one bit that has where are we? One very short pin, which is obviously going to be the different one which is around this side. Take the top of this shorter lug that's arrowed and that's arrowed. So yeah, the shorter lug, which is the one that I've got with my finger, goes against this one over here. So that goes in there pretty much like that. Just a little bit of wiggle. There we go. That's that home. That's good. The whole inside has actually dropped down a little bit, which is why there's a little gap around the edge here now. So that's just a case of lifting that back into the right place. And then, holding everything in place, carefully flip the assembly over. Take one of the plastic spacers, flip the spacer over, one of the lugs, continue fitting the spacers, and then fit the screws. Use a shorter screw on the hole marked in red Okay, no spacer over that one, but I don't know which one it is yet, but let's try turning this over. Right, uh, the one marked in red is quite visible in the inside here, it's, it's that one there. So, I am going to not follow the instructions, and actually use that one first, because that's much easier to get that one in and holding it sort of in place a little bit while I play around with the rest and I'm actually going to do them one at a time so I'm going to get a spacer on over that bit and then put on the screw 
Now as ever, as I've always said when putting these things together, don't just go ahead and tighten up the first screw all the way. Put on all of the screws a little bit first and get them, making sure you've got it all located. So that's probably why they tell you to put the spacers on first. But by just putting the screws on and tightening them a little bit, I can make sure nothing actually falls off while still making sure everything lines up properly. So let's get the rest of those on. Now I've got three of them on. That's holding it securely enough for me. Let's get the spacers on. God, this being half scale is big enough, isn't it? You wouldn't want to do it quarter scale. You'd have nowhere to put your fingers. No, it wouldn't have all the electronics in it if you were doing quarter scale, but sorry, I'm aware that my fingers are getting in the way and causing the focus to lock on them rather than anything down there, but uh, obviously there's not much to see at the moment. Um, I could cut and come back and do that, but by the time I've done that and messed around with it, I'll be back anyway. You can just listen to me waffle and ramble while I'm doing it and, and not watch what I'm doing because I've got my fingers in the way again. <sighs> right, that's the last screw going in, so I'm going to tighten that one down quite tight, not putting extreme force on it. I'm just making sure they tighten down as they should. So this is basically holding the dome down over the framework and it all lines up as it should we've got the microphone at the top there which has got some play to it but not you know it's not wobbling all over the place that is that and the mechanism still opens for the lightsaber coming out which obviously we're not going to be putting on quite yet but there we go uh, right, and that's that page. Turn that over. Now carefully remove the six Allen keys, the plastic Allen keys, plastic Allen bolts rather, which were the other piece that came in this issue. An Allen key and six bolts. Uh, I'm just going to twist those off actually. Twist all those six off. Right, these are apparently going to be holding the blue panels on the outside, so I'm actually just going to use a metal file just to take off that little edge where there was going to be a rough bit from where it was attached on the sprue. Not actually taking much off, just getting rid of rough edges from the bit that's going to be coming into contact with the insides of those panels okay now it says put it on the long side and long end of there on there there we go and drive the screws into the frame holes shown in step 19 all right it's got a picture I shall show you of six particular holes uh, next to that opening so let me turn this over and see if we can see where it's talking about. Uh, is it those six there? I think it is. Yep, it's these six around the edge there, fitting more in later stages. So I'm just going to put that on there. Now I'm aware that this is plastic going into plastic, so if you do catch a cross thread, you'll know about it. So what I'm doing is apply light pressure to hold the metal panel in place. So I'm actually doing them up until I think I feel pressure, but I'm not entirely certain that I'm actually feeling pressure on those. So I will go back and check and see just how that actually feels. 
nervous about stripping the threads on these so if you're in plastic it's very easy to do that there you go that's that one two three there should be another one there there it is under the book because i picked up the book okay uh right i'm gonna go and i'll put those on off camera there's no point in showing you all of those then we start installing some electronics so we have what do we have this dish disc identify the black frame which has two round holes in it yeah that's that one around this side there you go that bit I think I only got one of those. There's not another one of those. I've got two of the lamps, but only one of the coloured bits. Has a little notch on it, as indeed it does. And that goes onto the edge there. Just like that. It's actually not round, but it's round enough. Put that in there, making sure it's flush. All right, okay. And then take this one. So it's different to the other one that we had that is much the same but no this is actually the one that I should be using not that one that one it's got different shaped holes so I should probably have a wire plugged into that where's that other wire that I had there it is black red and uh, one of those wires that I said I won't be using yet guess what, I'm using it now so that goes on to there now it goes in one way round and it's that way round I think no, it's the other way round there we go Yep, fit over there with that on the left. Using two 2.3 by 6 mil self-tapping screws. That's the black ones. I'm assuming that's going to be the pot of these ones that they gave me this time. So although I've almost certainly got lots of them, I'll open another pack anyway. I'm going to be putting all these in the in the pot that they supplied recently when I finish filming. Anyway, again, not something you need to watch. Watch me do. So I'm going to be using one of those black screw to hold that over there. Hopefully you can sort of see what I'm doing. Getting that in the right place and then getting the screw through it without popping all the panels off that I've spent the last several months putting in place yeah this is getting to be good fun drop the screw I'm actually gonna use a smaller screwdriver because that long one isn't really getting in there very easily so I'm gonna get that in there Get that lined up in there again and hopefully just about visible for you there we go how's that? that a little bit easier for you to see getting that one again not tightened down fully just on a little bit grabbing the next screw feeling it get, get in place rather than being able to see it really tightening that down now and then go back and tighten the other side probably knocking the camera sorry yep there we go that's that in there so now from the outside that looks like a little light sensor thing. Cool. Uh, right, I'm turning the page. What else have we got to put in? 
identify the hole with DP23. That's the one that I just pushed out with my finger. I found it because I pushed it out with my finger. And then we got to put on this big bit with the two little logic sensors that we we're testing the other time. That goes on there. Light on the right hand side, push it in. Two more of those same screws. So yeah, it's definitely the ones that they gave us. Lots of this time because we're using several of them. Uh, again, I'm going to be using my smaller screwdriver. Uh, into each hole. Yeah, there's two holes on that one. One on either side again. Oh, move it back into the camera. Shot. There we go. That one. Does just locate over and in slightly. Side on there, and then from the outside again, you can see they come out just a little bit proud of that panel. Assuming you get that lined up properly, I think one side of that might not be. Just loosen that off a little bit, and you can jiggle it a little bit. That feels better. Need extra fingers. They don't supply you with extra fingers for these. What you really need is a little companion droid to help you build it. And there we have that. So now we've got that panel on there. Not quite flush, but as other things tighten up, it's all going to shift a little bit as well. Actually, that side wasn't tightened down fully. Okay, that's that one. Any more for any more. What we got next? Next up, next, that one, that one, that one. The outside looks like that. It does indeed. Identify the large opening which has that slot in it. That'll be the large opening with the slot in it. Around that side. Uh, then we need the large uh, data display for that one. Uh, getting it the right way up. Looks like that locates onto there and yeah, just pokes out the front much the same again. Uh, two more screws on there. No, different. They're back to the normal little metal screws because that's actually going on to a metal plate 2.5 by 4 mil screws. So I'm going to go back to my original screwdriver for that because I'm going straight down through the top rather than trying to go across the side. So there we go, that's where we are. This is just screwing straight onto that middle middle plate. The other screw I sorted out, I've got there. Yep, looking good. That's that one. Any more. Push that as well so it sits in, yep. Done that, done that, that does look like that. Identify the hole to the left of the NCD screen looking from the inside. So yeah, the big one. And we're fitting the lens from stage nine, which goes this way up, arrowed at the top. Now, this is that uh, bit that is just the lens, doesn't seem to do anything. Not entirely certain which way round bits of it go. So we'll hopefully follow the instructions there to make it look like it does in the picture. That bit at the top and that bit off there has got that next to that there. So for about there. So I can pull that through from the other side as well. Get that lined up. Oh, there is actually a bit on the inside that that's got to go into as well. There we go. That's those like that. And from the front again looks much the same as all the other bits do. And fitting that with two six of the big black screws. 
I'll be using the short screwdriver for that again because it's going across the inside just like that right now I'm aware that this is getting bigger and getting harder to get in camera shot so I shall be spending the next month before my next delivery trying to figure out how I can rearrange things to get the camera a bit further away so hopefully I can get some video that shows more than just the backs of my hands trying to put things together right that looks like that from the front as it does in the picture definitely starting to get fingerprints on here now as well so I'm going to give this a polish over before I put it out of the way trying to push some of these panels back out so they're not getting pushed in as well and I've got less holes to use to pick it up with now so yeah definitely need to work on stuff so I am going to slide that back on place because you know I can and it looks so much nicer with that in place so we have R2 it's starting to come together um, as I say I'm sorry about the the camera angle I will get that sorted for next time uh, I'm going to go back and put in the rest of these little plastic washers but that is as it says completed assembly so far so good uh, I'll put a couple of pictures up on my Facebook page which you can find on facebook.com gross models I believe certainly around there search for gross models you'll find it I'll put a link in the comments if I remember so you can get some better pictures of the, the build coming along and uh, as ever, thanks for watching, thank you so much, and uh, come back for more in a, a month, or depending on when you actually get around to watching this soon, follow on, they'll all be in the same uh, playlist. Uh, so yes, just remains for me to say again, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and following the channel, and I will see you next time, when uh, I think we're starting on the actual body itself, as well as finishing off some more bits of the insides of the head. So thank you, and see you soon.